And now to what can only be called a first-class rescue. A solo sailor whose boat was swamped by 15-meter seas during a race from Old England to New England sailed into Halifax today on board the Queen Mary II, emerging from the lap of luxury with tales of terror at sea. Here's CTV's Ron Shaw tonight. Planes and helicopters reached him first. 73-year-old Mervyn Wheatley woke up early Friday to find his yacht upside down. It eventually righted itself, but it was in bad shape. He started pumping by hand. And of course, all the electrics had failed, so I just started pumping the water out. And that took me a little over three hours. The ex-Royal Marine kept calm and carried on without panic. Not a lot, really. It was just a matter of getting on with the job and getting it sorted out. And I, I had no intention at that stage of, of sending an alert. But the emergency beacon had turned on automatically. It took RCAF pilot Jonathan Bregman four and a half hours to get to the boat in the mid-Atlantic. We tried to drop him some radios because he was scared that the batteries in his radio were going to run out. Uh, unfortunately, because the winds were so incredibly strong, the messages we were dropping weren't actually even going down. They tended to just go sideways. 36 hours after the sailor found himself in trouble, the Queen Mary II arrived, setting down one of its boats with three crew members aboard. Oh, the sea was up and down. I mean, we're looking at this guy in this yacht going, how is he hanging on? The hardest part, not getting the rescue boat down, but getting it up again. The difficult part in, in the whole operation is the swell was around three to four meters. So the hook I was reattaching myself to on the ship was, uh, was up and down. But Wheatley was finally brought aboard. When asked about the transition from being aboard his sinking yacht, fighting for his life to the luxury of the Queen Mary II, he said the difference was surreal. First thing was they did the medical inspections on, and then they took me up to my stateroom, and I just stood there and laughed. There was a heartbreaking moment before he left when he cut open a pipe to let his beloved yacht, named the Tamarind, sink. Yeah, wasn't easy. But necessary to keep it from becoming a hazard to navigation. After all that's happened, Mervyn Wheatley says he'll buy another yacht and sail again and race again. He's talked about it with his wife. But replacing the Tamarind is going to set him back about 80,000 British pounds sterling. Steve? It's a lot of dollars. Thank you, Ron. CTV's Ron Shaw for us tonight, live on the Halifax waterfront.